about this ceremony. The Grand have organ have presided many many ceremony for in this area here. Can you share with us of your feeling today and what do you, what is your thought about our new series of with 56 candidates from 16 different countries yeah. without Japan? Um, no, no one from Japan today, so that's, which was part of the story I told. But look, Lewis, I'll say this: the, the and I've, I've said it publicly in the ceremony. It is the best part of this job is watching people become new Australian citizens and looking, watching them uh, sign off on that part of their journey uh, wherever they've come from around the world, uh, be it Taiwan, be it from you know uh, Iceland, wherever, anywhere in between. Uh, I know that the world arts hold a, a, a very warm, embracing, uh, entertaining and not too long ceremony. They're all the elements that we need for a citizenship ceremony. And I think people feel very special, very loved when they, they come out of this process. So I'm always happy to be associated with it. And I know, even if um, I forget something, I know that Lewis Lee will never forget anything. That'll be a, a smooth ceremony. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for your kindness, Mr. Graham Perry. Mr. Chief Minister calls for his Australian citizenship ceremony, which is also the live honorary president of all arts and multiculture. She's going to say a few words in Mandarin. Today's English and also in Mandarin. Today is very happy we still host uh, the citizenship ceremony and, and congratulations to all the candidates. You make a right decision to join to become one of us. This is a good agreement. You uh, also can enjoy your right and fulfill your obligation. Freya of the Provision MP is our statement of strengthening. Freya, if you can share with us of our Australian citizenship ceremony to celebrate the Queensland Week, also the 65th anniversary of the Australian citizen, please share with us of what your thoughts are. Thank you very much, Lewis. And thank you to the World Arts Multicultural Inc., Ellen Chen, and everybody else that helped make this day another wonderful success. And congratulations to all of our newest Australians. We welcome you with open arms, and we hope that you'll be wonderful citizens and make us proud. And we hope that we, we make you feel proud too to be an Australian. Thank you. Shorten is the same member of our jester. Anthony Shorten is actually had to attend a lot of functions this weekend to, you know, to celebrate the Queensland Week. Can, can you share with us of your thought today? Uh, thank you, Lewis. Look, it's, it's an absolute, always an absolute pleasure to be a part of um, a citizenship ceremony, particularly a citizenship ceremony organised by the World Arts and Culture Incorporated. Uh, Melody Chan and Dana Wu um, and the rest of the team do such a fantastic job. They run smoothly. The candidates are, are, are given the correct respect that they deserve as making the decisions as instrumental as changing nationalities. And it, it is a privilege of my job, as the elected members previous to me would have said, it is a privilege of my job to, to share this very special day with you. Thank you, Ms. Andy Chorton. Thank you. Ms. the President of the Many Women Association of Queens. I want to like protect and say a few words in Tamil or in your language. About share, share with us of what you thought about our Australian citizenship to set up the Queensland week today. First of all, I must say thank you to Mother Chen and Dana Yu for inviting me to come and take the part in this ceremony. And I say congratulations to all the uh, new citizenship who have come here. Good citizenship as we have served this country, and I'm sure that we have to say the same. 
Thank you. Thank you. Amani, can you say a few words in Arabic? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Can you share with us with your feeling today about our citizenship to celebrate Queen's Day? It was quite exciting. It's well organized, executed beautifully, um, and it took me back to when I became a citizen when I was young. Um, a long time ago, but it was uh, quite emotional, quite moving as well. But congratulations to everybody that became an Australian citizen, and well done to you guys. Susan, Susan, executive fundraising um, coordinator for Islamic Relief Australia. She will be organising a function on the of August. <laughs> it's an e dinner. It's a fundraiser for um, a psychosocial in, uh, in Gaza and also a rehab centre in Ramallah. So it's a beautiful cause. We'd love to have you all guys at Chennai event. So let me know if you want to come or please, and you'll let me know. Thank you so much. Thank you, Susan. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Well, Ronnie, yeah, as the president of Lego Lions Club, Brisbane, China, he will be, become the president on the 7th of June at Shangri-La, around about 8.30, isn't it? Uh, like around about 8.30, yeah, he will there, be the so. president of Lions Club, Brisbane, Chinese. I want Ronnie to say a few words, uh, share with us about what you're feeling about today. Today, is, um, it's actually, um, I'm truly surprised, it's a very, very organized day, and I'm really happy to see a lot of people choose to be in Australia today. And uh, I think the team at uh, World Arts Multicultural have definitely done a fantastic job, and I can tell from everyone's have a big smile on their face. I think it's a really organized event, and everyone's happy to be part of Australia, and I think it's a fantastic celebration. Assalamu alaikum. She is the Settlement Officer for Islamic Women Association of Queensland. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أنا بهنئ كل الأستراليين الجدد بأنهم بيجوا أستراليين أخذ الجنسية الأسترالية مبروك مبروك لكل الأستراليين الجدد هذا أفضل بلد في العالم أستراليا أفضل بلد في العالم أنتم محظوظون أنكم صرتم أستراليين مرحبا بكم في أستراليا أستراليا البلد المضيف المضياف مرحبا بكم في أستراليا Sunny Bank RXA, and also the president of Lions Club of Caribbean. David himself has hosted a lot of citizenship ceremony in the past. David is one of our VIP guests today. I want David to say a few words. Thank you. But obviously, I don't do it as good as Lewis does. But uh, no, I'm as a migrant myself, I came here 22 years ago. It's fantastic to actually come and support events like this. And events like this are very important so that new citizens can see that they're welcomed by as many people as possible, not just politicians, but people who belong to community organizations. But you guys, congratulations on the work you've done. And to all the new citizens, congratulations. Thanks. Thank you. Come from which country? Where are you born from? Um, South Sudan. South Sudan. Can you say a few words about our Australian citizenship ceremony today? You want to be the king? I just would like to thank uh, for the organizers. Uh, it's really lovely to be here today. I really appreciate the effort you guys have done. And thanks for inviting me. And congratulations to the new uh, Australian citizen today. Thank you. Sisi, Sisi Chom, would you want to say a few words in Sudanese language, in your language? Uh, Vice Citizen Chair for this ceremony, I want you to, to share with us of our Australian Citizenship Ceremony today. It's my honour to be here. It was a fabulous morning and I congratulate everyone who became an Australian citizen today. Thank you very much. One of the volunteers, Jacqueline, do the citizenship registration. And Jacqueline has also did the National Australian Anthem. I'd like Jacqueline to say a few words. The National Anthem and doing the registration for the citizenship ceremony. Standing beside me is Billy Wu and actually Richard Wan. They are actually volunteer for the Australian Electoral Commission. They are actually attending the Australian Electoral Matter. I would like Richard and Billy to share with us what they have done. A very special experience that we can um, uh, volunteer for uh, AEC to go through this uh, enrollment um, uh, updates and uh, confirmation uh, for them to become the people that are able to vote for Australia. Really? 
Uh, it's my honor to be here, but uh, I'm too shy to say anything. <laughs> I don't know what I should say, but I'm just very happy with everyone here to work with that. Thank you. Thank you, President of World Arts and Multiculture, Maggie, today to do a presentation for the student for our VIP, Maggie Chin Li Jiang, Jiu Zhong Wu. 非常谢谢今天我们有这样的机会来主办这个公民宣誓，在第六十五年的这个澳洲公民宣誓活动里面，我们也呃为这个多多元文化也站在这里，为大家敬上一份心礼，非常谢谢大家。